So what is mimetic desire? Mimetic comes from the Greek word mimesis, and mimesis means to copy, to imitate. Now we do most of our learning through copying and imitation. We copy what our elder brother or elder sister does. We copy our parents. We copy other people that we admire. That's how we learn as apes. But mimetic desire is a slightly different theory. It's the idea that in our desires for goods, in our consumption, we're actually copying other people. And the theory comes from René Girard, a French thinker. And his idea was that there is not a simple relationship between two elements, me and the thing that I desire. So for example, I like this shirt, this dark blue shirt, right? There is Kareem and his dark blue shirt. Very simple, one person, one object, relationship of desire. And Girard says it's not a relationship between two things. There's always three elements. There is a second person. There is me, another person, and that object, that shirt. Because when other people say to me, oh, that's a nice shirt, if I look into their eyes and I see that they like my shirt, I feel vindicated. That's what I desire. I desire them desiring my shirt. So the relationship is mediated. The relationship is not direct. The relationship is mediated through another person. And when you have an expensive car, if you had an expensive car but nobody could see it, why would you need an expensive car? You like your expensive car because it impresses other people. You like your expensive car because other people have expensive cars. Your shirt because other people like that shirt or because other people have expensive shirts. All your possessions are in fact mediated through a second person. And if you think about life, you will find other examples of this process. When you hear it for the first time, it seems rather strange. You could say, no, I, I just like my things directly. But look at how other people react to what you desire. And this is a problem for scarcity, because if desire is mimetic, if we're always trying to copy other people, if we're always trying to outdo other people, then scarcity will remain forever. Because no matter how much we have, there is always somebody who has something better. There is always somebody that we need to impress. There is always a way we're in competition with our goods, with other people. And then scarcity becomes endless. Thank <laughs> you.